Well, this might cheer you up. Major Wade's given a gala tonight to celebrate the armistice. I don't think so. Sorry, Lieutenant. All junior officers are under orders to attend. Come on. I might cheer you up. Thank you. Back at the field hospital. Ah, uh, yes, an amputation it was. Well, it would have been, sir, if it hadn't been for you. As I remember, you were very insistent. I, uh, I'm afraid you have the advantage of me, Lieutenant. Oh, uh, First Lieutenant George Hazard, 8th Infantry, sir. Pleased to meet you. And how's your friend? They say he's getting better. Oh, he will, son. It just takes a long time, you know, a wound like that. You sound like you've seen a lot of them. Too many, and too many dead. That's why I'm leaving the army. I should be back in Ireland before the year's out. I should never have left. Thank you, Miss Constance. <laughs> I see you've uh, noticed my Constance. Yours, sir? My daughter. Or couldn't you tell? <laughs> I hadn't realized, sir. But it could be the best piece of luck I've had in a long time. Well, you could wait a while until uh, she gets a chance to break free. Or you could give us an introduction. I think I could uh, arrange something. Why don't you follow me, Lieutenant? Be prepared to move fast. Oops! Sorry, lucky. I didn't see you. Oh, it's a terrible waste of whiskey, isn't it? Here, come, let me get something for the inside of you. Excuse me, but I thought I was dancing with Major Lafferty. I'm afraid your father and I changed his plans. Oh, did you now? Well, I happen to be the one being danced with. Are you sorry I cut in? No, I didn't say that. Miss Lynn, I think you're the loveliest girl I've ever seen. Oh, do you now? I could dance with you forever. Excuse me, Lieutenant, but this is my dance, I believe. Yes, sir. Don't lose heart, lad. 
Why don't you finish your talk with Constance over dinner tomorrow at my quarters? And... Thank <laughs> you.